Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial where we will be creating ultra-modern neon background. You can use this technique in your own project, so without wasting any more time, let's begin! Alright, we're here on After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, Ctrl plus N or this little icon, this is gonna be final like usual, of course you can type here your own text, and for the width and height, full HD 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second, duration 10 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's create solid layer, go right click to create solid layer, this is gonna be fractal noise. Hit OK, go here in the Facts and Preset, if you can't find the Facts and Preset, just go Window and you will find it here. Now type Fractal Noise Effect, drag and drop onto the layer and here as always let's make a few adjustments. For the Fractal type instead of Basic, change here to Subscale, later in every moment if you want you can change this option, but for now it's OK. For the Noise type I will do instead of Soft Linear Block. And for the contrast, instead of 100, type here 150, brightness minus 30, okay, complexity lower down to 1. And now let's also open up this transform option, and for the scale let's do 235. Now set up the playhead here on the 0 frames, click on this uh, rotation option to animate, type here 45, okay, and then go to around 10 seconds and type here 0. Also one thing what we can do is to animate the evolution option, hold alt and then left click on your mouse and type here time asterisk 50. Ok, and now when we hit 0 in the finals, we have this cool looking scene of the fractal noise. Our next step is to pre-compose the layer, go right click, find here pre-compose option, this is gonna be fractal 01, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. Hit OK and now let's add our next effect. For the first effect that we're going to add here is Find Edges Effect, drag and drop here on the composition, we'll select this Invert option and then go here in the Facts and Preset again, Find Triton, like so. For the highlights let's change here to maybe pink color, something like this, play around, hit OK. For the mid-tones let's change to cyan blue color, something like this and then hit OK. Our next effect that we're going to use is Glow Effect, drag and drop here on the Fractal, and here you can play around with the options, for the Glow Threshold I will do maybe around 70, for the Glow Radius to around 200, and here you can play around also with the Intensity, but I will leave it to 1. Now select this Fractal 01 composition, go here again, right click, pre-compose, also make sure to move all attributes into the new composition, this is gonna be Neon 01, hit OK, now go again here in the Facts and Preset and find Glow Effect, drag and drop here on the new composition and basically you can play around with the option, I will leave Glow Threshold to around 60 or 70%, for the Glow Radius let's type to around 50, this is looking cool, now close this effect control for now and really important step is to duplicate here in the project window our Neon 1 composition and Fractal 01, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Also for the Fractal 01, hit Ctrl plus D. Now select this Neon 02 composition, move it here above our Neon 1 composition. Now open up this one, select this Fractal 01, find here Fractal 02, hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop Fractal 02 on the Fractal 01 composition. We're doing this because now we have new Fractal Noise here to play around with the option. Now select here Fractal Noise Layer, hit F3 on your keyboard and change here Fractal Type instead of Subscale, let's try Turbulent Smooth, you can play around with the options. Ok, now here in the final composition let's change blending modes from normal to screen, if you can't find blending modes just hit here toggle switches and modes, find here screen option, hit T for opacity, let's do to around 20 and now also let's add glow effect, ok, and our next effect that we're going to add on our Neon O2 composition is Triton effect, move this one above the glow effect and let's change mid-tones to maybe yellow color. And now as you can see here in the finals we also have this yellowish neon 
here in our final composition. We can play around here basically with flow radius, intensity and also if you want with the opacity just hit T, maybe to around 30 and this is looking really cool and really awesome here in our scene. Okay, our next step is to add our first adjustment layer. Let's close this composition for now. Just leave this final one. Go right click to create new adjustment layer. This is gonna be curves. Okay, go again here in the facts and preset, find curves effect, drag and drop here in the scene. Okay, and now you can lighten or darken scene according your needs, something like this. Okay, play around with the options. And also now let's create a solid layer. Go right click to create new solid. Okay, this is gonna be light 01, hit okay. Now select this light 01 solid layer. Go here or hit Q on your keyboard to find this ellipse tool or hold left mouse click, find ellipse tool. And then while this light 01 is selected, hold control and shift on your keyboard and just draw a perfect circle like this. While you're holding control and shift, you can also hold space to move it up or down, left or right. Okay, now open up this mask option and for the mask feather, let's type here 300. Also hit again here on the light 01, go in the facts and preset, find fill effect, drag and drop onto the light. Okay, let's change here color to maybe pinkish. Hit OK, hit T for opacity and let's do around 20%. Now hit V on your keyboard and just move this on the left or on the right side according to your needs here in the final scene. Maybe for this one to do around 25, this is looking cool. Now let's hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate this light 01, move it on the opposite side and let's change fill color to maybe this type of cyan color or darker blue according your needs. Hit OK, hit T for opacity, maybe to around 30%, also hit M for mask. Instead of this uh, 300, let's try maybe 400 for this type of mask. Now when we hit zero, as you can see, we have also this cool pink and here opposite side light in the finals. For the final step, let's create another solid layer. Go right click to create a new solid layer. This is gonna be light 02, hit OK, and then go here in the facts and preset, find fill effect again, drag and drop onto the light 02, and change color to pure black color, hit OK. Our next effect that we're going to add here is light rays, OK, drag and drop onto the light 02. Here we will later readjust few settings, and our next effect that we're going to use is Gaussian blue, drag and drop here on the light O2 solid layer and change blurriness to around 50%. Okay, now let's change blending modes instead of normal to add. And here let's readjust light trace options, uncheck this color from source and change color here to maybe dark blue color like this, hit okay. And now as you can see, you can play around with the light trace options for the intensity, let's try 200 radius to around maybe 30 or 40 play around for the warp softness you can also play around here and you can also animate this uh, center if you want just move it on the left or on the right side but i will leave it to around here maybe hit t for opacity to lower this down to around 70 percent or according your needs now when we hit zero we have this also cool looking and awesome scene here in the finals. If you want to change this type of lines here in the scene, just go in Neon 01, find here Fractal 01, select this layer. If you can't find effects control, just hit F3, and instead of subscale, find here different type of this uh, option. Let's try maybe max, and in finals, you will have completely different look. Play around with the options until you're satisfied with the final results but I will leave it back to the subscale. It's looking cool to me. And you are ready here to render out this cool looking neon background. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. Like always, I hope you learned something new. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. 
Also, you are free to comment down below in the comment section. Also, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. You can use this uh, background in various different things uh, like uh, slideshows, intros, promos and so many more. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You can also share this tutorial. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.